Oh, that is a sexy damn drink. Damn sexy drink. Hey guys, welcome back to the Board Game Bar. This week we are playing Betrayal at House on the Hill, all about murder and spooky Horden Mansion, I think. I haven't played it yet. We'll play it soon. But we are making a New York Sour to go with this. You're strong. You're strong. Shout out to Nick Hamilton from TikTok, where I got the inspiration for this drink. We are starting off with bourbon. You can use any whiskey here. It starts off like a whiskey sour without the egg white. Bourbon just works nicely with everything else because it's a bit sweeter. And we're going to go with two shots of bourbon. I'm using Woodford Reserve because that's what I have. If you have something else, use something else. It's entirely up to you. Next, we're going to get our lemon juice. We're going to go with 30 mils. And then our last ingredient before we shake is sugar syrup. And we're going to do about 15 to 20 mils, depending on how sweet you want to make it. And if you're using a different whiskey and want it a bit sweeter, then maybe you'll up it a little bit more. Judge it based on what you like. That's what we're all about here. That is everything we need so far. So now we get our shaker, about three quarters full with ice. Put it in on top, give it a little whack, smack the other side so it doesn't come apart, and then we shake. Once it's done, give it a little smack, bring our glass over. Get our strainers, and we're going to double strain this into our glass. We have our lovely clear ice cubes that we make using the cooler method. Would highly recommend them if you can. They'll just make your drink a lot nicer, and they'll stay colder for longer, because they melt slower. And now where a New York sour gets different is we're getting wine, and we're going to float this on top. So... Any sort of fruit forward wine will work really well here, but again, whatever wine you've got. I got this in a Christmas hamper, so that's what I'm using. To layer, we're gonna get our bar spoon and just use this to make sure the wine pours down the side of the glass and then it should float on top. Doing about a shot's worth. And you see you get that really nice layered color, the sort of red down into the orange. And that's sort of coming back to our betrayal house on the hill. That's the evil. It's coming for all the good stuff. It's good stuff too, though. So let's give it a try. Give it a go. Um, or do we stir it or do we just drink no, it? No, you in? leave it as is. So it's supposed to be served layers. And then you sort of try and take a big enough sip that you sort of get a bit of both. Again, you get a bit more of the wine at the start and probably a bit more of the mix at the end. Oh, yeah. You get the, you get the tannins from the, the wine straight up, but then they quickly replace with that, with that bourbon. That's the, a really bloody good drink. That's amazing. I really, I really, really like that. Mm. It's the, that complexity and, ooh, and then the wine comes back. Like yeah. the, the floral notes from that wine actually persist and come back. Yes. So, so pick a wine you like to drink is the moral of this story first off. And you're going to taste a fair bit of the bourbon too. So I think bourbon works really well with wine. Yep. I think that'll work better than sort of like a real peaty scotch or something like that. So that is the New York Sour to go with Betrayal at House on the Hill. So we're gonna be playing Betrayal at House on the Hill live on our Twitch channel, so make sure you head over to there and have a look. We'll be drinking this drink while we play it. and I've, Several of them, probably. By the time I've uh, yeah, finished this video, I'm gonna have a few. You can also watch the Teach, our how-to videos on how to play Betrayal at House on the Hill. We'll also add the video on demand or VOD for our live stream once that is done. So if you missed our live stream, you can check us out on that video as well. Thanks for joining us in this video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.